came up with a, an award. It's called the Pastor's Diamond Award. I think we've given out two or three of them. I look back, the last time we gave one out was in 2003. We're going to give a Pastor's Diamond Award out this morning. Y'all know what the word, uh, uh, I can't even think of the word. I'm getting so old, I can't even uh, uh, What is it when you uh, do things without being told? Proactive. How many of you are, are uh, uh, familiar with the word proactive? Okay, we've got, we've got several here. Uh, there's kind of a little little joke that goes along with being proactive. Connie, I'm cutting into your song. You know that. Uh, there was a, a church that had a liquor store that moved in right across the street from the church. And every Sunday morning for a month, the church would get together and they would pray that that liquor store would burn down. But one night, one uh, Saturday night, uh, uh, that liquor store burnt down. And so the next Sunday morning, the church got together. They were going to have a celebration and pray, pray that, uh, uh, thank God for, for uh, uh, burning that liquor store down. When a little boy came uh, walking up the aisle with, with something clutched in his hand, he walked up to the pastor and said, Pastor, uh, we've been praying for a long time that that liquor store would burn down. And he opened up his hand, and inside his hand there was a, a, a pack of matches. He said, Pastor, I put wings on the prayer. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, if, if people need to step up, and I, I think Judy told me about it. Did you, did you tell me about being, people being proactive, doing things uh, that, that instead of praying about it, they were they were able to do it? She, she read that in the book, by the way. <laughs> Prayer should be the last resort if you could do something. And uh, I, why didn't you tell me that earlier? I wouldn't like But but anyway, <laughs> but anyway, having said that, uh, last Sunday night, I believe it was, there was a few of us standing at the front door. And if you look uh, look to the right and the left of the steps, you know there are some planters there. Well, inside those planters are well, weeds. And there were about three or four of us standing at those doors looking and saying that, man, those, those weeds need to be taken out of the plant. Nobody opened the door to go take them out of the plant. Uh, we, we talked about it a little bit, bit longer. And uh, I think uh, Travis Stack must have heard us because when we shut the doors to the church, Travis was out there pulling those weeds out of that, those plants. And walked on. Tracy, or his mama even left. And Tra Travis had to walk on. So, Travis, I want to give you the pastor's diamond. Thank you for being proactive, okay? Here, you'll just put it in so you, you need to take that home and frame it. At least that would remind you that your mama ran off the bed. <laughs> All right. By the way, there are a lot of other things that, that, that we can do that, that you see that, that needs to happen in the church. And if you can do them, don't just say, I'm going to pray about it. Don't just stand like we were doing, standing back there at the doors talking about it. Do it. Things will do, go a whole lot better. Things will work a whole lot better if we just sometimes do what we know we need to do.